Well, changing directions now. The nearly 40 year old mysterious death of a Newburgh Heights teenager is drawing national attention now, including from a well known pop star. Mark Namick explains what's behind renewed interest in this case and if the family is any closer to answers. About 5.30 yesterday afternoon, some kids were cutting through this dump behind Republic Steel. When they got to this pond, they saw the body of 17-year-old Kurt Sova. The year was 1981, and five days earlier, Kurt skipped school, went drinking with some friends, and ended up at a house party on the city's west side. There were people who were around him. You know, there were people who were with him, and he just kind of disappeared into thin air, and he shows up dead five days later. Time and shoddy detective work seemed to bury the case in any hope that the family would know what really happened. When Kurt's mother died a few years ago, Kurt's brother Kevin found a box of case materials she had collected for decades. He took it to Newburgh Heights Police. There's a number of challenges with this case. You know, it wasn't investigated thoroughly. You know, th uh, there was just a not whole lot of a good police work done. Chief John Majoy dug in and invited a group of Tiffin University students studying criminology to add fresh eyes. Last weekend, the case was at the center of a convention in Chicago that paired true crime buffs with criminal forensic experts who examined the case evidence. These folks were seated at tables and they were going through this stuff with a fine tooth comb. Among the people studying the case with the chief and Kevin were actress and singer Selena Gomez and her mother. I had dinner with Selena Gomez Saturday night, her and her mother, and they're talking about different components of the case. Kevin says he had reservations, but the attention was worth it. Over 300 strangers taking their time, spending their money, and passionately wanting to find out what happened to your brother. More emotions that I had to deal with there than I could have even imagined. He now believes everything leads back home. That's all done, and I think it's time to get back to where it was before we left and find out what happened to Kurt. And I think we're ready to do that. I think this team is so close. I mean, I, I just feel it. Mark Namick, 3 News.